Hey, how's it going everyone? Dave here from Dash Vapes and welcome back to yet another video. It's been a while. Um, now, I was initially going to make this video last week. However, my uh, two year streak of not getting COVID unfortunately came to an end. But I'm back, feeling much better. And um, today we're going to be taking a deep dive into water based e liquids and really seeing what all the hype is about. Now, this is a follow up to our previous water based e liquid video where we just kind of talked about it on a surface level. But the kind people over at Inakin sent over their lineup of water based e liquid disposables for us to try out. Now, this video isn't really going to talk about the devices themselves, as uh, most of you probably know that us here at Dash Vapes are all hashtag tag team no disposables but i was mainly curious as to how water-based e-liquids vape and if it could really be the future of vaping so making this liquid isn't in akin uh, rather a lab that they partnered with called aquios labs and they specialize in water-based e-liquid now as far as i know aquios labs is the only ones that are doing this as of right now again as far as i know the liquid featured in these products are called aq30 and the 30 means 30 percent water we've had these for about two weeks now and i've been using them almost exclusively just to really get a good idea as to how they would fare to day-to-day -day use and spoiler uh, water-based e-liquid is pretty nice. My initial thought when I first heard about water-based e-liquids, I thought it would be a pretty underwhelming experience. In all honesty, I thought it would be similar to the kind of vape experience that you would get from the ultrasonic vapes that we saw a couple years back. If you've never got a chance to try them, uh, in short, they were a super cold vape with little flavor, essentially just a very underwhelming experience. However, uh, after opening up one of these disposables with water-based e-liquid and taking the first pull, the first thing that comes to mind is the flavor. I don't know if it's the water playing a role or something, but the flavor I've gotten from every one of these have been phenomenal like dare I say better than some full setups and immediately following just how good the flavor is is how smooth the nicotine hit is these all contain 20 milligrams of nicotine but vaping on them you really wouldn't think that now don't get me wrong I enjoy the kind of bite that you get with nicotine and while water-based e-liquids kind of take that edge off it's still extremely satisfying like in the two weeks of using these disposables exclusively there was not a single point in time where I was like, I wish these were a little harsher. Now, a common question that we got in our previous video was the temperature of the vape. Like, is it a warm vape? Is it a cool vape? In terms of temperature, it is somewhat of a cooler vape. Um, however, it's very minuscule. I imagine if you had this liquid in a different setup, let's say like a full setup that outputted more power, you would probably get a warmer vape. But that brings me to my next point. How do these things work? The big deciding factor with water-based e-liquids is whether or not it can mend with already existing technology, because if it can't and you need to get kind of water-based e-liquid specific setups, I feel like that would be a hurdle that I wouldn't be able to overcome. So why don't we crack one of these open and see just exactly how these things work. I'm going to be cracking open the Enviro because it's the easiest to open out of the three and kind of take apart. And upon removing the battery and the kind of tank section, uh, it's good news all around. It looks to be a simple, tiny little mesh coil in cotton, which means theoretically you could vape these liquids in just a regular device. Now, I reached out to Aquios Labs to see if I could get kind of like a little sample that I could put in an open system just to really see how it would fare. So hopefully they're open to something like that. And if they are, we're going to release an update video when we get it. But yeah, the big things boasted by this water-based e-liquid is a smoother, more efficient vape and reduced dehydration. Now, I didn't notice much in terms of vapor's tongue uh, with these devices. However, one thing that we have to remember is uh, a lot of these died before I was even able to reach the point of Vapor's Tongue, so I can't really speak too, too much on that. But uh, that is also why um, Aquios, if you are watching this, uh, we would love to get maybe like a 10 mil sample of some of this water-based e-liquid just to see how it goes. Now, personally, I'm quite impressed by these water-based e-liquids. Now, whether or not this will be kind of like the new standard in the industry, that's kind of up for debate. I do, however, think it would be cool if it gets to a point where say these can vape in any sort of 
system normally. When you are ordering your e-liquid, you have your choice of now free base or salt nicotine and water or PG based e-liquid. If it ever gets to that point, I think that would be pretty sweet. Now here's a question for all of you lovely viewers out there. What are your thoughts on water based e-liquids? Are you interested by it or do you think it's just a big gimmick? I'd love to know your thoughts so let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And that pretty much wraps up today's video. Now if you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button down below and hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. As always, I'm Dave from Dash Vapes and I'll see you in the next video.